Okay, so today in Millennium Dawn A to Z, uh, we have been punished for having too many fun games lately. <laughs> At least fun in terms of Millennium Dawn standards anyway. And we have been uh, exiled to Bhutan. Are, are we at least making... No, we're not even making money. So we're losing money. Probably losing manpower too. Because probably no one gives birth in this country. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Like, what is this place, dude? Am I just supposed to find ways to make fun of it for 15 years? I don't know. Like, oh, what do you want me to do? You want me to suddenly build a massive army and invade Tibet? Take Lhasa and free Tibet from the Chinese imposters? That's never gonna happen. Look. They already bordered me with like five times my army size at least. Two with division. And right of map. <laughs> I wish I wish I could skip this country. Like legit. There's what am I gonna do here? What is my sole purpose in life? Oh hey, like industry investments. Woo. Yeah, even with that even with that Civ factory, I I'm still I'm still losing money. I mean the funnest thing for me to do right now is just look at these horrible graphics and like what, what I don't even know what this is. I don't know if his erection is going backwards or what. That's a little creepy. But it's the only thing I can watch because nothing else is gonna ever happen in this stupid game. And, I, and you could be like, oh, you remember when you pressed the magnet button to influence nations? Yeah, I, I don't have enough political power gain for that, buddy. That's why I'm trying to go down this side of the focus tree right now, actually, to get the political power gain. I don't know if it's ever going to come, though. I think my only strategy is to go down the focus tree till my PP gets big enough where I can start influencing nations to maybe be my subjects. Oh, I've also noticed there's quickly a bunch of uh, other parties starting to rise up. This monarchist guy might not be here for long. <laughs> well, this game has already decided to crash itself. Like, it's just, it's going that well. Not even the game wants me to play Bhutan. It's like shaking me. It's like going, dude, get a life. All right, I'm, I'm gonna be cheesy. I'm gonna start to influence China. I just, I feel stupid doing this, but what else can I do? The, my magnet button is my strongest weapon. I All I can do is throw a magnet off of my mountains here in Bhutan and into the Tibet uh, desert below and hope that somehow I get I get a chance to pop at them. Oh, well, I can upgrade my laboratory. GP of 30,000? What, what here is giving me that much money? Do, do we like start a snow shoveling business? That's the only thing that would ever make this country that much money. There's nothing of importance here. I don't think there's even any resources. No, there isn't. It's just a barren wasteland. So I, I'm pretty sure some like 15 year old kid was born, started a snow shoveling business and suddenly we have a GDP now in Bhutan. Oh, looks like that kid's snow shoveling business has gone down the drain. Look at our economy. Now uh, it really depends on how bad it went down the drain. Let's see here. Okay, his snow shoveling business is still doing all right. Holy shit. The, 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 the snow shoveling business, it's, it's booming. Oh my god, if only that actually helped us in any sort of way. Whoa, Nepal has 30,000 troops? Holy f damn. That is unexpected. Must be nice, you know? <laughs> Must be real freaking nice to have some men on the field. I wish. Oh my god, they even have spare manpower. They could probably take on one of these two if they really tried hard enough. Why do I have to be in the shitty one? Why do I have to be in the shitty mountain country? Minus 500 population, freaking three buildings, half a factory. But yeah, of course, I can't have nice things. I just have to have people attacking my influence all the time. I, I, I can't get anywhere. It's just the same bop, bop. For 12 million eons, I get no progress at all because the influence button does nothing because it's so fucking weak. It just, it's a never ending cycle of the same shit over and over and over again. Why, I never did this. Do we even have a general? We have a general. <laughs> but two sharing. You're an offensive boy and you have organization for. I don't, I don't know, you're not gonna be able to carry the war for us, you're no Steiner, but I don't know, I guess have a job. You see that bright ass forehead right there? That's the bright light that I want to see right now, when I fall over and hopefully die. I want to see that bright light and be taken away. No one's gonna, not, no one's gonna do that to me, no one's gonna put me out of my misery, I'm still gonna have to be alive here no matter what, aren't I? I'm going to be alive on the shitty mountain for the foreseeable future. No sign of relief in sight. 
and to clarify, I'm not actually like wanting to self-abort myself. It's it's a joke. Okay, sort of a joke. I'm, I'm playing as Bhutan. I I I, I don't want to be here, but I don't want to self-eat myself off a cliff in real life. I I promise. Okay, my political power gain is so goddamn low. No focus activated. We can't even make two. Vanilla Hoi Four gets more PP income than this. Okay, Bhutan has small PP. Very small. It's embarrassing. Opposition demands House of Wayne Chuck stamp down. Does it really matter what government I am? I'm still gonna suck all the same. Oh, they, they try to storm the, the, the parliament. Bonk! Oh. <laughs> they got the division. Give me a convoy a month. Yeah, that, that's gonna help me. That convoy a month really show them. Thomas capitulated. Dark times. Oh, brother. Look at that. Why am I... Why am I expecting Albania? What the fuck? Click here. There we go. There we go. We're back. We're back. Is it different Bhutan? We have... They took my influence? Oh my god. What the fuck? That's three years of hard work. God. Hey, look. We get we get a new capital. We get Drang Me, the capital, with no victory points. I have to, I have to start over with the influencing. The magnet button has to... <laughs> now I really want my legs to dangle off the edge, guys. Perhaps this time I won't be joking. Perhaps this time I'm serious. I, what? Who? Who finds this exhilarating and fun? What did he do, though? What did he do? Incoming financial collapse on the horizon. Wait, does it? <laughs> it restarted my Civ factory. Oh my god. I should have just accepted. If if I had accepted to back down, none of this would have happened. Guys, if this gets if this video can get uh I don't know, 300 likes, I will jump off the edge. Maybe. I don't know. I got a second story window right next to me, it'd be fun. Better experience than whatever this is right now. Perhaps breaking both my legs would be better than breaking my will to live. At least one I can recover from. Hmm, so about that incoming financial collapse we have here, I might have a solution to solve it. Watch this, son. Tax rate up. Did that solve it? No. That did nothing. Okay, never mind. That probably just was a waste of time. Okay, no cap. I think I just glitched out the research page with that civil war. What is going on here? We researched construction three, but construction three is still unresearched supposedly, but I can research construction four. I get, I get I broke the game with a civil war, but it shouldn't be that broken. Incoming collapse. Incoming collapse. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Opposition demands elections. Is this going to happen again, bro? No, I'm not, I'm not doing another civil war. Nuh-uh. I- Okay, I'm not prepared to go to another civil war and lose all my progress a second time. Nada. No. You already had your civil war to screw me over once, game. Doesn't need to happen again. What- What is going on here? Hold on. Did I just- Pause. Hold on. Do I have research- I still have my research slot. Wait, can I get infinite research slots? No, no way if that's true. Hold up. This might actually be interesting. I might be able to break this game into infinite research slots. Not that it would mean anything because of how shit and weak we are, but it would be pretty funny. Just Bhutan with like 50,000 research slots more than the United States. Oh my gosh. That'd be a wet dream and a half for Bhutan. Ah, uh, from one financial collapse to the next. <laughs> I don't even have an option. There is no physical way that I can avoid the collapse. The game just dumped me into this and said, you're on your own. There's no option like, ask China for bailout. Ask India for bailout. That doesn't even exist, bro. Hey, look, the research slots did work. Do I, can I still get more? Where's the research slot option? Is it gone? <laughs> did it just disappear? I was hoping that, this, that it would be like stuck so I could just keep spending political power to gain research slots. And then like, by the time I was done playing, I'd have like 50,000 research slots. Oh, that, that would have been hilarious. Like you can't even lie about that. That would have been hilarious. Unless you're a, a million dollar dev watching the video, then maybe you're like, ah, oh, fucking hell. I suck at my job. Boom, we just got our seventh and eighth research slots, baby. Look at this. We are, we are researching so many things 
And the funniest part is that we'll, we'll never use them. <laughs> it's just here for me to laugh at, but look at all of this. I mean, I, I bet in like a couple years, we'll like have to scroll through these research slots. It'll be funny. The US will like tremble in fear at us. I mean, you know, the gameplay is sad when the, the only thing I'm looking forward to is glitching the game to give me tons of research slots. Every time I influence now, I don't even get a single percentage. <laughs> I get decimals when I influence now. So if if I'm getting, let's say, 0.8% every time I influence, okay? You need 0.8 times 100 to get to 80%, which means you need 100 months. 100 months is nearly 10 years. Who the fuck is going to spend till 2013 as Bhutan? I get I'm a loser, but surely my life is, means more than this. Surely there's something else out there for me. Ask Depp Bell for Bhutan. What? This is, it's so, it's hurting my brain. I don't know what went wrong with this game, but something really horribly wrong. You know, no, I, 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 I can't do this. I need to give myself a self abort this instant. I can't, I can't take it anymore. I just cannot take it. Someone bring the world tension to 15% right the fuck now. You best bet when that world tension gets to 50%. This, this Bhutan is not going to live any longer. I'm done. Okay, I can't believe I'm... It, it, it finally brought me to the edge. I don't think I've ever done this in a Millennium Dawn episode before. Opposition demands elections. Whoa! Oh my gosh, the glitch is still working. More research slots. Yay, I t still want to play this game, guys. Can you tell? You know, with all these research slots that we have now, you'd think we'd be able to use just one of them to figure out how the hell I can stop suffering through this. But nope, we're too stupid. We have to research false ways to make this country better. When in reality, they'll never do anything. You know why they won't do anything? Because, well, uh, they're useless. Oh, wait a minute. It's it's working again. It's working again. Oh my Jesus. The mod is somewhat fixed itself. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Wait, now that it's fixed itself, laboratory is understaffed. Oh shit. That's not good. Maybe we should have let it fix itself. Now it's take. That's why it fixed itself then. It's taking away the one good thing I have. Damn it, bro. bro I don't know. Why are you still investing in me? This country's going to shit. It's got nothing going for it. We've collapsed financially like four times in eight, seven years. I can't even self-abort myself. It's just, it's so bad. I want to cry. I want to die. And I want to say goodbye. Well, that, that would be a good outro, actually. Damn. So after seven freaking years, we, we got a civilian factory about guys. Let's, let's go. Seven, seven, seven years. <laughs> you know what? No, I, I I can't handle it anymore. I cannot I can't sit here anymore. I am done. I I, I can't do it. I, I cannot do it, man. It's I'm I'm done with this life. Let me free. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> I can't. <sighs> I'm free. Wait, hold on. Before I go, what the? Ha <laughs>